what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to add an email subscription form using system.io that's an email subscription pop-up form using system.io so stay tuned now the reason why i'm using system.io to collect email i'm using system.io to create a pop-up form to collect email from my blog that readers i use i'm using still that to do a pop-up form that just pop up whenever they visit a page on my site is because of system.io is a marketing tool that is very easy to use and it is free you don't need any plugin all you have to do is just set it up log in your dashboard set it up and create the pop-up form then implement it on your website then you start using it you can see more of it in this my video which i have designed and created for you it's very easy system.io offers the one of the most easiest ways you can create an email subscription pop-up form for you to be able to gather emails from your readers okay so make sure you subscribe to this video comment like and also hit the bell notification for more updates while we head down to my screen for the tutorial let's go there right now so guys this is this the home page of system.io once you come to system.io you sign up it's very easy to sign up then you log in let me log in my system.io account and let me show you how to create a an email subscription pop-up form to wordpress so i've signed up once you sign up this is the dashboard then you click on funnels once you click on funnels it takes you directly to this page this next page then you click on create once you click on create you can now see it where it's written create a new funnel what you have to do is just to name your phone you can just name it email subscription once you click it then you click on build an audience you scroll down you leave it you have us dollar you australian dollar but then you leave it in us dollar then you click on create once you click on create it takes you over to this next page then you can see it has from all other squeeze pages system.io offers you so many types of squeeze pages but right now we are not using the squeeze, the squeeze pages we are not even using our thank you pages as well so we have to delete them let's just delete them away let it just go away so that we won't get confused when we are going let's delete the squeeze pages we know system.io offers so much more for your um, internet marketing so right now all you have to do is just click as we deleted the thank you pages and the squeeze page just go to create step then you name your step you can still leave it that's it create you can still leave it as image subscription form or whatever name you want to name it let me put it in a subscription form then choose type the squeeze pages inline pages pop-up form remember we are creating an an image subscription pop-up form so you have to choose pop-up form then you save then once you save it takes you directly to different type of pop-up form you can see as you can see so many types you can see them given to us from system.io you can see you can choose just choose any one you like now let me let me use the let me use okay let me use this let me select okay let's have a preview okay let me go back let's have a preview of how it looks oh oh oh, oh, oh. okay let me create it let me go back again okay let me see let's have a preview first let's have a preview okay, let me delete it okay let's have a preview first before we go back create step let's start again pop up form save let's have a preview before we select okay, let me preview this let me preview it let me choose this let me preview it you can see you can always have a preview of how the how the pop up form looks like before you select network is slow okay this is how our pop-up this is how our preview is whenever somebody visits your site and you want to take their email so this is how it looks so let's select this let me see select let me select it now you've selected it then you can now go to this page these three five these five knobs you click on edit you have to customize the page the pop-up form to your own taste you can see it takes us here let's assume this pop-up form is for a fashion you want to collect a, an email list for people who love fashion 
maybe you have a fashion blog or something related to fashion maybe it could be a general blog but you want to just put this proper form to just grab fashion lover because everybody loves fashion everybody wears clothes i'm just using this as, a, as an example so you can see you can also customize this let's say let me customize this to something else take 40 percent off okay let me i can customize it take 50 percent off sales of let me see anniversary sales now you just want to grab their anniversary sales now you can see it can be it can be customized you see everything as you can see where you, you can input the, the the readers can input their email you can either you can even customize this look at the element look at the blocks at the right hand side you can use all of this you can also add more image you can also add more image here whatever kind of image you want to add your own personal image you can put it here you can remove this and put it here there is the there's also the layout there's rule there's section you can as you can see also you can also change change this to shop now to subscribe now if you don't want to you leave it because this is a this is a this look like if this is a fashion style you want to collect fashion people love fashion image so you can also put change this to subscribe now you can leave it to action when button is clicked you can leave it to show pop up so that it won't direct to anywhere next step no direction send form action when button is clicked should be sent from then do you want the redirect to redirect user after contacting your decision no direction so that when they click it they won't be redirected to anywhere they will still be on your website that is the essence of this you can also still scroll down button you can customize the button to any any type your background you can choose background of your source the padding the rounded corner there are so there's so much you can also view how it looks on mobile and desktop this is how it looks on desktop this is how it looks okay this is how it looks on desktop this is how it looks on mobile you can see everything is here oh, sorry this is how it looks on mobile this is for you want to check how it looks on mobile as you can see there and this is how it looks on desktop this is how this pop-up form looks on mobile and this is how it looks on desktop so if you want to get this just an example of 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 you trying to get email subscription from uh, fashionistas that are visiting your website or you, there are also other options that so you can uh, customize this to something else maybe is you want your readers to just subscribe to your email you can customize it and you know there are so many options there are so many type of templates out there for you to use so with this let's say we are satisfied with this whenever the person puts his or her email here and click shop now the person will be able to be uh, the person email will be listed in your system.io and you can also send notification using it now let's click save or if we are done i don't think we can edit any other thing this is just a simple pop-up form just click save once you click save you click view and look how it looks like okay let's see then let's go back to our home save okay you can save okay okay so now for you to be able to implement this code right now you have to just click this you take this code right now you go to your website let me head down to the my website to your wordpress website indeed let's you go to the appearance section of the website you go to widget this is the best place to put it to implement it for it for it to be displayed on your pages you can see html let me see html custom html let's put this custom html here and let's 
paste it here and save that's just the only simple thing you need to do so let's check our site You can see, you can see what we just implemented is now on our site. So anybody can just type in an email and show and subscribe, and you see it. Anybody that visits the page will see it. Then you go to your contact, you go to your contact list, and see your subscription. You can see, look at the people subscribing. And you can now send notification to all these people. I've already had some people before, so you can now send notification to any of them anytime you want to create, you want to send a notification to your readers. So that will be it. If you find any information I've just dished out for you, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you also hit the notification bell for more updates on how to do things by yourself. Thank you very much, Francois, and make sure you practice what I've just taught you always.